Like if you want it, you'll pay for it. You'll invest in yourself. You'll invest in your future. I fully believe that in every aspect of life, not just business, but in every aspect. If you want it, you'll go get it. You will invest whatever it takes, whatever money it takes, whatever time it takes, whatever sacrifices it takes, whatever dedication it takes. You will invest that because your destiny calls itself to you. It calls itself out of you. Today, what I want to do is a meditation for breaking this stuff off, but also more importantly, unleashing who you truly are. You, know, you are called to be very wealthy, not just in money. Okay. Money is a byproduct of everything else. If you are not healthy in your thoughts, if you are not healthy in your body, if you are not healthy in your relationships, if you are not healthy in your mind, you're not healthy in your relationship with God. All of that stuff is going to keep you from, from accessing wealth. And again, not just money, it's the wealth of relationships. It's this type of people that you are calling into your life and do a meditation. So I want you to just get in a place where you can relax. You can close your eyes. So as we go into this meditation, I just want to first address the concept of change. Familiarity wins out over desire. That's something that's really important for people to understand is that what's familiar to you, you'll always choose that. You'll always choose comfortability over your destiny until you recognize that that's what you're doing. You have to learn to love change and love uncertainty. You have to learn to love that. You have to learn to treat it as a journey, as a process that is enjoyable. And you need to understand that you cannot avoid change. It is a guarantee in life. In fact, a lot of people say it's the only thing that's a guarantee in life is that change is always going to happen. Change is always a process. And when you resist it, you not only keep yourself in a place of stunted growth, you become more adverse to that. So it's instead of like a, um, like a, a plant that pushes up through the soil to get stronger, to reach its new supply of food and resources, more dirt gets piled on top of you and you get buried further and further underneath the ground. <clears throat> and so instead of thinking of change or, or as where you are, as this comfortable place, you need to recognize that change is actually you growing and nobody wants to be a baby seedling getting taken care of in a little pot with a little water and a little sunshine for the rest of its life you want to be literally the word says that we should become trees of life so change is actually an opportunity for you to transform for you to grow into who and what you want to be into who and what God created you to be. And not only that, but to show others how to do the same. So that transformation is where harmony and balance can happen. Right now, you might not want to admit it, but the place that you are is actually creating the chaos. It's actually creating the discord that you have going on in your life. It's because you're not meant to be there anymore. You know, you'll outgrow things. It's like babies outgrow their clothes. If I kept trying to shove, uh, you know, a two-year-old into their brand new newborn clothes, it would be so uncomfortable for them. It would be causing them pain. And yet that's what a lot of people are trying to do. They're trying to remain in these small spaces, confined spaces, not recognizing that just the, the thought of wanting to stay where you are is actually the thing that's causing all of this discord in your life. And so we need to recognize that the things in your life that aren't working as well as they used to, or as well as you think they should are actually signs that you need to change. You need to be the change, not somebody else. Right. And that's something that is difficult for people to understand where it's like, well, if the narcissist would just do this, or if he would just stop doing that, or if she would just start doing this instead. No, that person is in control of them. What needs to happen is that that is no longer acceptable behavior for you to do, for you to engage in. 
and that you embrace change and you're willing to say, okay, I'm willing to do something new in this situation since I've tried every single thing I can possibly think of to manipulate this person, to manipulate this situation. None of it is working. I will be the one to finally make a change and to do something different. 